done by the county government. And uh, maybe any one of us, any of you can join me. We can now make it fully, uh, but up to the carpet and everything we'll do FIFA standard. And that is the VIP uh, pavilion. And it is actually uh, going to be uh, like 180 that way, and then the other half we just have to. Uh, and it's wholly done by the county government of Siolo, just like the market. So this is, uh, I think it's going to sit more than 10,000 people, and uh, the, the county number is uh, 200,000. So we hope that we'll be able to take care of 10% uh, of our population, you know, at one sitting. Uh, so this is uh, why we are doing this, is to contribute to the activity of our young people, encourage their talent, develop their talent, and we will also have uh, various uh, sporting, whether it is uh, track, running, or whether it's football, we, we hope eventually to develop other uh, boxing or whatever other, other uh, tennis around here because the space is enough, even behind. So we are therefore hoping this would be uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, projects that can change, transform our young people and their potential. And they are already, as I said, they are already doing their best. So this is going to be in the administrative headquarters for the whole county and it's going to house all the uh, all the sectors, agriculture, education, all the sectors will be housed here. It will also have uh, a banking hall to, for revenue collection and uh, it will also have a, a, around here a, a small uh, pavilion where we, we can meet people uh, and, and, and engage with people with their demonstrations, if there are issues people have. We have created a, a place where people can air their, their voice and, and, and they could come and, and say their issues at this, uh, so that this becomes uh, the, the, the headquarter for administration. So you can be rest assured that from the UN side, there is full support for this county. I co-chair the public-private partnership platform with uh, Governor Kuti, who represents not just the county, but all of Kenya really well with the private sector. And the new opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, will how do we attract the private sector from the EU, from the US, from Russia, from China, to come in and invest here and look at potential markets here. That's where we will get the sustainability. I thank you. I want to thank this delegation for coming and being with us. We thank you because you had come last time and we have shared and we are also thankful that you have come this time. I would also like to thank the EU for various inputs in, the, in this country. Health, especially as mentioned, uh, issues of uh, maternal, uh, family health. Uh, has been very big support from uh, Norway and from DMFID. We have a lot of support from uh, all of you, the EU, and therefore and, uh, and we are very, very grateful. But more importantly, we want support to various projects that are ongoing. 
But more important even than that, because we want to grow from A to trade. We want to have partnerships. We want you to invite your business people to come and invest in Siolo because the Siolo is open for business. I am sure as ambassadors, the people of your country are looking for business opportunities in Kenya. And therefore, we are open for business in Siolo. Changing the people's perception of owning livestock from social and only food but also from a, a commercial aspect, where we organize the communities into society, cooperative societies or associations that then can finish the, 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 or the husbandry, they, they do it to the specification of this abattoir so that the cooperative members are supplying the, the abattoir here because that's why this abattoir, I put it here when I was the minister for livestock with that in mind. It has taken a long time, but right now we are very grateful to World Bank because they have actually chosen Isiolo among the four other competing counties so that we only have one export abattoir. So this one is now at a very advanced stage. The, adv the advertisement has been done so that all the animals from the north could then be processed here. And then we have an international airport that is, uh, the takeoff has taken quite a while, but it, the dream is still there because it is shorter, the, the, the runway is shorter, a little bit of uh, problem happened in the execution of the project, so it has not fully taken off, but our agenda is that this meat could be flown from this international airport, four hours it will be in Dubai and other Arab countries, and therefore, we provide fresh, an alternative to India, an alternative to Brazil, an alternative to Australia that are providing frozen meat. Ours will be chilled and fresh. River Wasoniro, its uh, sources is uh, the escarpments in uh, Rift Valley, and it goes in Wajia as uh, Lorian Swamp. It is flat, it is, you know, it's a perfect place for irrigation. And the, the beginning of that, the, the river passes between these two plateaus. It's just a flat acres and acres, hectares actually, of, of flat land, where we could actually now turn, hold this water, which because of this flatness, when now the situation right now is that it's just over flood, and we just had a very serious over flooding in Sericho, in a whole area, a whole villages, schools destroyed. We want, therefore, a scenario where we utilize the potential of our livestock, which is the mainstay of our people, by putting this dam and irrigating on either side. This is the main river, but they make more tributaries, artificial tributaries, and in between are patches of land where irrigation is done. We can grow our food and turn this county from a relief dependent and food surplus county and actually supply our neighboring It's the game changer for our people. And I want to invite you. And now, after now the processing, there are other options. There is an abattoir. I mean, after the abattoir, we can have the tannery, as you have said. We can actually uh, process skin to finishing level and then invite uh, a companies that can do boots and belts for the army, for the police. That is what we want to do so that we become the hub of livestock products uh, that are offshoot from the meat that goes to India. I mean, to, to UAE. So a lot, and then the horns and the hooves. The women can make necklaces, embroidery, and, 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 and such uh, fashion things, uh, and wallets for, for, for export. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, opportunity in this value chain. I, I'm just showing you we can create a value chain that actually can revolutionize uh, our people. And that is in my head right now. I want it to be on the ground. <laughs> so, uh, that is about the dam. So I wish we could have seen it. The report is here. 
Uh, we have done feasibility study. We have, uh, it, it has been costed. Uh, the dam alone is about 3.7 billion or 3.8, 3.79 billion. Uh, then the domestic water supply is less than a billion and the irrigation water supply is about a billion. A total of about 6.3, 6.4 billion there. And the report is here. I am handing it to Seed. I have already supplied this to various so that this becomes this becomes a, a, a dream for us, if, uh, and it will have come through if, if, if we get uh, donor support. And I said, we will put our money in it. So we are, we are, we are in business together. And 24,000 hectares available. We can set aside 1,000 for a special economic zone. And this is another dream I have, just like this one of water, especially for creation of jobs because we want to create a, a, a export processing zone or special economic zone, whatever you want to call it, and attract business, attract factories, attract manufacturing to happen in this special economic zone. We are really, really uh, under threat right now. We were talking about food insecurity. Now we will be faced by further food insecurity because the locusts that came the first uh, uh, swam were from Yemen from that far. Now those ones have come, they have laid eggs in our area, and now the real problem is now. Everywhere you go in this county, now you will see they are called hoppers or nymphs, and they are really eating and, and reproducing, and the control of this thing is becoming a challenge.